first thing I want you to do is to get yourself a mirror. This is one I actually have in my bathroom. And I want you to stick it down there. And I want you to take a look. That's right. I want you to turn that mirror around. I want you to look around and see what's going on. That's right. If you have a lump or a bump down there, first thing you should be doing is looking. Now you can use a mirror that you have, a handheld one, uh, a, a makeup cosme uh, compact, a cosmetic compact, whatever mirror you can find. And I also say, look, if you're not able to see what's going on, get your partner to help you. Uh, maybe have them look themselves and describe it or have them help you look. But the idea is when you come to see me in the office, it's very helpful if you have taken a look put a mirror down there to see what might be going on. Now, sometimes my patients don't look and oftentimes when they don't, it's because I've realized that they were a bit scared. They were afraid of what that lump or bump could be. By the way, we're going to talk about some causes, but um, you should know that not every lump or bump is scary. Okay. I'm going to tell you what some of them are. So make sure you get out that mirror. The first thing is it could be an infected hair follicle folliculitis. You get like a little hair bump, an infected hair follicle. No biggie, but that could be your lump or bump. Or think about many people these days are kind of bald down there, right? Uh, whether they are uh, using razors or waxing. And sometimes those procedures can cause irritation in and of itself. Uh, sometimes there can be skin irritation from waxing. There can be razor burns and razor irritation from uh, using uh, razors. Uh, so sometimes that's simply the cause of our lumps or bumps. The other thing is sometimes we can get boils. Those are painful sort of uh, sometimes pus filled sacks. They can be big, they can be painful, but again, it's something we can totally deal with. Um, I mentioned ingrown hairs. Well, actually I mentioned infected hair follicles, but you can also have ingrown hairs. So that's why this mirror is super important because it may be uh, less ominous than you may be, um, uh, may be thinking it is. Now, there are other things that your lump or bump could be. Let's just go down the list, right? You could have a cyst. This is men and women, um, vaginal cysts, as well as penile cysts. These are fluid filled sacks. They could be a lot of different types of things or different types types of cysts. Okay. Um, let's keep moving. And I'm going to talk about sort of the, the one that a lot of people worry about, which is STDs, but let's keep going because not everything is an STD that happens down there. Um, you can actually get eczema in your private regions. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I've seen eczema in the privates and sometimes that's all it is. Uh, you can actually also get moles down there. Mm -hmm. And along those lines, you can also get skin cancer. So if you see something funny, even moles, you got to make sure you get them checked out, make sure everything's okay. All right. Super important. Um, there's also other benign lesions. Uh, men can get something called pearly penile papules. These are harmless growths. Okay. Now you may not know what they are, so you still want to get them checked out. But just understand, not everything down there is necessarily an STD or necessarily problematic, okay? Now let's move on to the STDs, okay? So yes, there are some STDs that can cause lumps and bumps down there. That's why we have our mirror. Let's talk about those, okay? What do we got? Uh, genital warts, right? Wart like structures, warts in the genitals for men and women that can happen. All right. You want to get that checked out. A uh, genital herpes, a uh, genital her herpes is basically like you get painful blisters. Ooh, it can hurt. Okay. So my patients that have it, it can be very painful. Um, but also syphilis, syphilis sometimes presents with a painless ulcer in the genitals. Uh, and then there's also something called molluscum contagiosum. Uh, you get painless bumps, uh, there as well. This is, this is the thing. This is not the complete list guys. This is not all the stuff it could be. This is just some of it. Um, just letting you know and reminding you that not every bump down there is necessarily a problem or will necessarily cause you harm. So get your mirror, get your compact. First thing you do is take a look down there and then uh, also make an appointment with your doctor so we can check you out and uh, let you know what's going on and help you out as well. Guys, let me know um, if you've ever had a lump or bump down there, if you'd like to share. <laughs> it's totally okay because I think we all have at some point because there's lots of things that can happen all over our body, right? Nothing to be embarrassed about. Guys, I'm Dr. Oh, I spread this video on to anyone you think might, might benefit from it. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle, practicing family physician, on-air health expert and video creator. I do daily videos. For those of you on Facebook, please like and follow my page. For those of you who send stars, I respond personally. Thank you so much. Uh, on YouTube, please subscribe to my channel. Click the little bell for updates. Guys, I'll see you soon.